Hello guys, welcome back to Arches Dishes. This is a creative cooking channel where we learn to make delicious dishes together. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel because you're definitely gonna love this channel and if you're an old subscriber hey I hope you're good today we are making this delicious and unique recipe we'll be making yam balls in the authentic way okay so if you like this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and then share with your friends so that we can keep the family going enjoy the video I have a medium sized yam here that I'm going to chop up into cubes and then wash it and then take it to boil. So guys, today I'll be leaving all the instructions down here. I'll just chip in when I think it's necessary for me to talk. So I'll let you guys do more of the viewing and enjoy whatever that is going on here. Caution, okay guys, caution, yam is very itchy. So whenever you are doing this, I think you should be kind of experienced or really used to working with yam. Other than that, I advise you put on some kitchen gloves. So yeah, enjoy the video. So now that I am is cooked, we'll be mashing this and hey, today is today, okay? I'll be using this tool called the tapoli, alright, in the local Ghanaian or Akan language. This tool here is going to be my masha, alright? I'm using this today even though I have a masha at home. But today is the day for this tapoli because it will really work the yam good, alright? But you can use your masha if you have a home. Now that my yam is mashed up good, I'm going to be using my mixer to fluff it out. And I want it to be a bit fluffy and this is totally optional, okay? So remember we didn't season our yam before boiling it so at this point I'll be adding a shrimp bouillon cube to season my mashed yam. So at this point I'll be mixing this together and then I'll be adjusting the um, texture or the lightness or thickness of my yam and I, I just added milk but please if you're a vegan you can use water to adjust it and it will still be the same for you it's still gonna taste great just to suit everybody's preference you can use water So now we are molding our yam into balls and at this point guys you really have to be gentle because any crack in the bowl can just destroy everything. So please be gentle and be sure to seal every crack you see on the bowl just like I'm, I'm doing, tapping it lightly or gently to seal every crack and don't forget to like this video you know. Give it a thumbs up if you are really enjoying it so far and tell me what you think down there in the comment section below about what I'm doing now. If you have any questions, any suggestions, please let me know. Share this video with your friends and let's grow this family together. So 
So here is everybody's perfect golden brown texture or color we are looking for. And here is our yummy yum balls that it was so easy to make under less than 30 minutes. And bet you guys, you guys are going to enjoy this when you make it at home. If you enjoyed watching this video, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends to learn how to make this delicious recipe. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.